guys welcome back to YouTube, my youtube channel welcome back to cheese kitchen how are you doing how's the day going so far all right today i'm taking to another new recipe on how to prepare porridge beans this beans is very very spicy not that spicy very nice very unique and very you know our kids don't they they like beans a lot of the kids don't like beans please if you are the type that your children don't like beans try this my recipe and you know a lot of people don't eat beans because of heart bone do you understand if you parboil your beans before cooking it bets me you will not experience anything called heart bone for real i'm telling you if you experience anything heart bone parboil the beans before cooking it and thank me later please mother father brother sister try this my recipe prepare it for your kids our kids don't need too much of starch they also need protein you, you hope you understand that so let us let's get it started as i take you to the process and how to prepare porridge beans in a different style please turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video i just want to say a very big thank you to my fans who have been trying my recipe who have been leaving comment below who have been sharing my youtube channel god bless you all please let's continue sharing so that we'll grow more let's get it started as i introduce all the ingredients bit by bit hello guys welcome back to cheese kitchen how are you doing how's the day going so far all right today we are making another new recipe we have brown beans macro fish known as titus red ball pepper scotch bonnet pepper tomato onions red oil crawfish salt brown beans a lot of people call it oloi beans but it's known as honey beans please feel free to use any kind of beans that you wish to use if you want to use the black eye beans it's nice but i prefer using honey beans because it has one special taste it has when you prepare porridge beans please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post any video please if you have been using white beans to prepare your porridge beans please try and get honey beans and thank me later turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video let's get it started oh right, you know a lot of people have uh do have heart bone when they eat beans but i would advise you to parboil it so with that you when you eat it you will not have heart bone anymore so we are going to be parboiling our beans it's well cleaned already so you're going to parboil it for like 10 minutes stay tuned as i take you to the process on how to prepare porridge beans bit by bit let's go there as you can see it's well boiled so right now we are going to be washing it please if you are finding it difficult to eat beans because of hard bun our advice is to, to parboil it before cooking it with that you are free to eat it and to not give you any hard bun so let's go wash our beans So as you can see, now is well washed. I washed like three times. So right now it's well washed. We are going to cook it for like 30 to 35 minutes on a high heat. Please try this my recipe and thank me later. Stay tuned as I take you to the process on how to prepare porridge beans bit by bit. So let us check our beans that have been cooking for like 30 to 35 minutes wow i just seen how lovely our beans is looking is well cooked so right now we are going to be making our sauce for the beans please stay tuned don't forget to try this my recipe so let's get it started we are going to be making our sauce for our porridge beans we are adding our palm oil please try this my recipe for your loved ones my kids love beans a lot even my spa he really loves beans Please try this recipe for your children. So this oil is okay for me. So right now I'm going to be adding my onions to it as well. Then I stir. Then I share my blended pepper as well with a mixture of tomato, tomatoes. So we are going to leave it to fry for like 15 minutes. Please stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. This is how it is. It's well dried. 
as you can see it's well dry look at it it's well dry so right now i'm going to be adding my two nut cubes to it please try this my recipe and thank me later the nice day The next thing I'm going to be adding our crayfish to it. I'm going to be adding two of this, my measurement spoon. Then I stir as well. So right now I'm going to leave it to steam for like five minutes before I could add our fish stock to it. Stay tuned. So Right now, I'm going to be adding our salt to it. Then I stir as well. So I'm going to be adding our stock to it. Then I stir. So I'm going to allow it to steam for like five minutes before adding our beans to it. Please stay tuned. We are going to be adding our beans to it. Please try this, my recipe for your children, for your family, for your loved ones. The aroma is something else. The taste is wow. My kids are lovers of beans. They don't joke with it. Do you see how it's looking? I love my beans very soft. This is it. It's really, really nice. Please try this, my recipe, and thank me later. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have tried any of my recipe. And leave a comment below. So right now, I'm going to be adding um, our fish to it. Our boiled mackerel fish to it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to leave a comment below if you have tried any of my recipe. I see you next time. I remain your favorite girl, Cheese Kitchen. So right now we are going to leave it to steam very well for like five minutes and it's ready to go. See you next time. I remain your favorite girl, Cheese Kitchen. Can you turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video? Do you have a lovely day ahead? As you can see, this is how lovely it is. It's ready to go. Please try this recipe for your children, your kids. Like now, there's nothing you cannot have it with it. You can have it in pap, custard, bread, yam, jollof rice, white rice, plantain as well. Please try this, my recipe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to share. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have tried any of my recipe. And leave a comment below. I remain your favorite girl, Cheese Kitchen. As I come your way next time, stay safe and remain blessed.